In this video I will show how to make a simple LED driver for up to 40 watt LEDs um, with the LM317. You will need a fixed resistor, I used a 220 ohm one, um, and also you will need a screw adjust variable resistor. Um, I used a 0 to 2.5k ohm. Note if you do use what I used it will only go up to 14 volts and therefore you have a limited range of LEDs you can use. Also you'll need a printed circuit board or a perf board. Perf board will be easier um, and also you'll need a LM317 voltage regulator. Here is a schematic I drew up for the LED driver circuit and the I will have a link in the description for a calculator for the values of R1 and R2 um, so you can get the right um, voltage output and the maximum voltage output will be 37 volts which is plenty for um, most high power LEDs and also pardon the bad drawing so first I made the circuit out on a breadboard um, so I could test out that everything works and I'm getting the proper voltages out so I decided to use a printed circuit board and as I said earlier this one is more complicated because you have to etch it and all that um, but here I've drawn out the where I want all the holes to be on the top side of the board and now I'm going to go and drill it out All the holes drilled out. Okay, so I have drawn out the places where I do not want the copper to be etched away. And so that's where all the traces are going to be. And I have cut the board out of the main um, board. And so I'm just going to use this drink lid to uh, contain the etchant, and I will fill it up like that. And set the board. And I'll let that sit for a while while it etches away. And I'll set the video back up when it is finished. So it's been about 20 minutes and I've been agitating this um, during that time. And the board be ready now. Just it off. So I'm just going to rinse this off now. Okay, so I've rinsed it off, and now I have some rubbing alcohol in here, and I'm going to wipe off. The Sharpie revealing the nice shiny copper traces.
So I have my LM317 right here on a heatsink. The PCB board, or mm, that's kind of redundant. PC board. My variable resistor, and I'm not using that leg, so I just have it bent over so it won't interfere. And my 220 ohm fixed resistor. So I'm just going to dry fit everything together. And LM317 goes in there. And the variable resistor goes right over here. And it all fits through. So, okay, now I'm going to solder it. So it is all soldered up now, um, input lead and the output leads. And so I have another video posted out um, that shows this LED driver in action. I'll have a link right here for it. Um, you want to see that one next so you can see how this works. And thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And bye.